people are terrified about gener- uh, generational wealth. That's why people right. are terrified of like very very wealthy families that tra- transfer this money down to their children. Like, and the children don't earn it. You, yeah, like that's the the king. That's Joffrey. Right. Yeah. You know, it's, everybody knows what that is. That's why right. Succession is such a good show because you can relate to it. Right. Like yeah. Like what a what fucking bizarre reality do they exist in? Dude. I don't know, but I wish I'd experienced it. Ah! It looks fucking fun, baby. <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine bursting out of that womb into some Illuminati yeah. fucking delivery chamber? Guns blazing. Holy shit, it's the best. Oh what my life. God, what a life. Private jets from birth. Oh, fucking Diamonds. incredible. In- access to Rolexes. the adrenochrome chambers. Adrenochrome on the left. On the left, just yeah, every- Just use your irises, they'll let you right in. Dude, I can't even. It's that that is just so crazy to imagine crazy. what that's like. What is that like? You never know. You yeah. never know what it's like to like worry about being able to like. You know, have you ever like gone out to eat with people, and you have to run your credit card, and you're like, please God, let it go through. How mm. overdrawn is it? You know what I mean? Like right, those right, moments, right. I'm like I'm about to get humiliated right. in front of my friends. You've never known that. You've only known endless infinite opulence you're given you have your nannies have fucking nannies you've got yeah. like you're being educated by like some of the smartest people on the planet your diapers cost as much as like most people's like wardrobe for the year you know In like the world for sure yeah that's a really cool incarnation man i, I strange because it doesn't give you the adversity that you need as a young person. It doesn't give you the challenges to overcome. It doesn't give you the real possibility that you could be broke someday. The real possibility that you might not have enough food. I think there's a superpower in growing up poor. I really do. It never escapes me. Never. I, growing up poor, when I was a, a, a young boy and we were drinking like powdered milk and l- living off welfare, yeah. food stamps. Wow. I remember that. I remember that clearly. I remember that clearly. I remember shame. Right. I remember all of it. Yeah. And so also I saw my parents build out of that and then move to a respectable middle class suburb so that we could go to a good high school. Right. So I saw I saw what hard work and all the thinking that was involved in planning yeah. this out properly led to get out of that. Yeah. But we were in San Francisco in the 1970s, and it was, uh, it was fucking weird. It was ve- I felt very vulnerable already, but then on top of that, to be poor, and then on top of that, to be a latchkey kid. So I was just like out wandering. I could just like leave and go anywhere. Right. Yeah, man. That it, formed you. Yeah, that forms you. And if you grow up on private jets... And if you grow up always knowing that you're going to have money, always knowing that you're going to be fine, always knowing yeah. that you're going to be a part of an empire at one point that has wealth, the, right. the likes of which no one will ever be able to explain, where chi- your children will be billionaires. You can divide it evenly amongst their children. They'll be billionaires yeah. as well. It's nuts. It's a different, it's like a different yeah. universe. But those kind of people that grow up in that environment will never think like you do. They won't. They'll never think like I do. They won't. There's like extra gears that you have that you're born with when, when you live in poverty. I think that's like, you look at all the great athletes, almost all of them, unless they grew up in households that were like very strong households where the father really encouraged athletics and was like really a, a great coach and the kid like yeah. grew up c- competing and really enjoyed it that's possible too but in fighting in particular boy it's a lot of people from fucking dire poverty it's a lot of people but don't you think it's possible as a parent cuz like i mean my kids aren't scraping by and i know your kids are not isn't it possible as a parent if you're lucky enough to not have to worry about that shit our parents worried about yes to 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 still create uh a a childhood and a life that isn't imbalanced and and has within it the possibility for failure and having to like figure out how to do shit yes right 100 percent. it's possible it's just a different challenge right 
like in, in life presenting you with challenges that you could have never predicted, you didn't ask for, and they're right in front of you and you have to deal with them. People that go through that sort of a life, I think they have like way more defenses up, way way more awareness of deception, way more awareness right. of p people's ulterior motives and right. people who are creepy, people yeah. who aren't being genuine. And yeah. you and I have both encountered plenty of people like that. Yeah, sure. Where you'll pull me aside and go, hey, man, I don't think this guy's cool. Like, right. there's something wrong with this guy. Yes. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I'm not going to get that necessarily from everybody. Some people are not going to see that. Right. They're not going to have been in dangerous situations where they had to, like, realize the consequences of not recognizing right. these kind of people early. Yeah, right. Sure. Yeah. So you were, yeah, I mean, this is the, again, it's, it sucks because it's like, yeah, what what do you get? You get an right. inflamed fucking amygdala is what you get. <laughs> like, you get, like, your, your fucking brain just loves to spray out cortisol and so like that's what you get because you came up with that you watch your fucking parents freak the fuck out for your in, potentially your entire childhood and 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 so yeah you're freaked out you're you you're living in like a a, a weird battlefield that doesn't even exist anymore that was your childhood mm -hmm. whereas like uh yeah some people they don't they didn't have that so they they're you know they don't go they don't think about shit like that they don't think about like oh my god is this person is this person okay? Or oh my god, well, they don't have that that we have. I think it's, dude. Honestly, man, I I don't I don't know. I I do agree with you that adversity has has to be in a human life. Yeah. That, that if you r remove adversity from a life, you do an incredible disservice to the that, potential of that life. To the potential of that life. Yeah. Because it's it's just physics. But it's, it can be in anything. It could be in disciplines, it could be in games they play, it could be in sports, it can be in a lot of things. But they have to do things. Like you gotta do shit. You it's have to like, confront the learning curve. Yeah. Uh, so you gotta learn how to get better at stuff. And then you gotta be <clears throat> excited about that feeling that you get when you get better at stuff. Yes. That's giant. That's a giant part. Of Dude, it. that's it. That's it. And, and and you start connecting with that yeah. feeling as being actual success. Yeah. That's actual success. Not like whatever else the world gives you is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Right. But if you never had that feeling in a lifetime and you were yeah. like sleeping on bags of fucking cash, yeah. it wouldn't mean anything. It wouldn't mean anything. It's But that's the weirdness of winning the lottery. Right. It's the weirdness of all of a sudden becoming a part of this like hyper wealthy elite. And that's the weirdness of uh, anybody's life in North America. Like if you're in North America, you first of all, you hit the fucking lottery. Right. right? If you're in the United States. Oh, shit. You right. don't even have to get vaccinated. 